Hollywood can dream up some pretty sick stuff, but apparently they still ain't got nothing on reality. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Devil's Double. Seen enough? Have I seen enough? He is insane. Look at him. Psychotic. You give me nothing. Everything I want, I just take for myself. I know people are dying. I don't care. I gave you life. Without me, you are nothing! The life of Uday Hussein was apparently something you'd have to see to believe, and now you can. The Devil's Double is based on the true story of Latif Yahia, a military officer in the Iraqi army who was handpicked to become Uday's fide, aka body double. Latif, who witnessed countless horrors as part of Uday's inner circle, has said that he regrets Uday did not live to see a courtroom, where Latif would have hoped to testify against him. However, with this movie, it appears that Latif will finally get to settle the score. Sure, there was a book, but didn't you get the memo? Hardly anyone reads anymore. But they do go to the movies. Will they go to this one? While the marketing campaign intentionally echoes 1983's Scarface, The Devil's Double is said to include some intense torture sequences that go beyond a mere chainsaw in the bathtub. Is that simply what it takes to be the Scarface of 2011? Or will it be too much for audiences to stomach? Either way, the film has certainly raised Dominic Cooper's profile, that and a little movie called Captain America. Hard to imagine this was the same guy dancing next to Amanda Seyfried in Mamma Mia just a few years ago. This film is directed by Lee Tamahori, who directed the James Bond film Die Another Day. But while there are certainly shades of a James Bond villain in Uday, for way too long there was nobody who could stop him. Only watch and remember. So some people say this is the next Scarface. What say you? It's not the next Scarface. Oh. 100%, yeah. yes. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I was thinking it was the Iraqi Scarface. No, this is a completely different um, movie. Oh. It's not a gangster movie. It's an accurate portrait of what happened in Iraq. Do you think um, it's accurate? Do you think yeah, I think it's very accurate. Yeah. Scarface is kind of legendary. Oh, oh, this won't go down in a legend at all. Ah, did you enjoy the film? Ooh, that's hard to say. Yeah. It's hard to say that you could enjoy something that's like Caligula. Yes, I did. I enjoyed it very much. It oh, was very yeah. good. Well written, well made. Graphically depicts the violence. I mean, it's one thing to hear about on CNN. It's one thing to see it on Fox, but that's all. It's spun. This was, it was Hollywoodized. It was glamorized but it was graphic enough to give people a taste of what was really going on. Well, I hear there's a lot of intense torture sequences in the film. Not as much as I thought there would be. Oh, okay. I went in okay. prepared to be like, yeah, you know, but <laughs> it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Oh, yes, yes, they are, yes, yes, are they, they are. Are hard to sit through? Well, yeah, sometimes you get a little squirmish over it, but um, it, again, it's telling you a very accurate portrait of what happened. I mean, Scarface broke the mold. Scarface really, it cut through the, I don't want to say the glass ceiling, but it, it set the pace. Use the chainsaw in the shower. Yeah, yeah. Th this was not as graphic as it, I don't want to say as I wanted it to be, but it was, I mean, it didn't set out to be Dawn of the Dead. Well, did you see the trailer for this film? The yes. trailer was very good. Yes. Does the movie live up to that trailer? Sure. <laughs> it wasn't a documentary. It didn't set out to be a documentary. It gave, it set out to tell the story of The Double, which it did a very good job of. Does it have some depth to it, or is it just kind of like a flashy, gory film? Oh, no, it has a, it's a very in-depth movie. It has a really good storyline. The gore is just what is, is a byproduct of what the movie was trying to tell you. I expected more from the movie, but the trailer is a fine trailer. Okay. And it's a it's a decent movie. I didn't waste my money. Well, what did you think of Dominic Cooper? Oh, he was very good actor. Very good. Amazing. Yeah. He's really good. Dominic Cooper was the double? He was both of them. He played both. Which is kind of a no-brainer. I should have <laughs> known that. Very good. Very, very, very good. Having to play two different people, having to, to give the nuance to each of the roles. Did he pull that off? Oh, yeah. I mean, not to sound like, what's his name, John Lovitz, but acting. Would you recommend that people see this in theaters? Oh, yes. Very much so. Definitely. Absolutely worth seeing in theaters. You need to rent it so you can fast forward through stuff. What do you think? Oh, it's, it goes by really fast. Oh, good. Okay, cool. And they skip over. A lot of the stuff is in your head, which ah. is maybe worse. Ooh. Like any movie, you know, you're told that this is an R-rated movie and that um, this is what's going to be shown in the movie. So, you know, you just um, prepare for it. What do you give it on a 1 to 10? Nine. Oh, I give this definitely a solid 9. Seven and a half. So while it wasn't unanimous, overall, people enjoy The Devil's Double, giving it an 8.5. And we're out here every week covering every major release, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AM Sampire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.